Welcome back to another session. Today we're going to be doing a post-day workout practice. Some days we decide to go for a run. Maybe we go do bouldering or rock climbing. Maybe we go to ski. Maybe we do skating. There's many exercises that are really, really fun to do. But if we don't do a proper warm-up and a proper cool-down, the next day we feel quite sore. And even if we do them, we may feel sore regardless. The following day, depending on the amount of demand that that exercise required. So today we're going to be doing a session focusing on releasing tension in all of the areas of the body after a day of strong workout or strong practice. So we're going to begin directly in our seated position. Make sure your spine is long, shoulders are gently back, and slowly close your eyes. First, take a moment to listen or to observe your body. Observe any areas that you may feel tension right now. Do a self-scan from the toes all the way up to the crown of the head to check if there's any area that feels discomfort that feels tight, that feels tired. Breathe into that area. On every inhalation, feel how oxygen is coming in to your lungs. Consciously imagine how you're sending energy from the oxygen that you take in to the area of tension. And as you exhale, imagine how the toxins or the tension itself is fading away as you're breathing out. You can breathe slightly deeper, slightly longer than usual without doing too much effort. Just trying to gently lengthen it, gently deepen it. Preparing mentally for your practice. Take a deep inhalation through the nose. Slow exhalation through the mouth. Inhale deep through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale deep through the nose. And exhale. Slowly relax the neck, bring the chin to the chest. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Keeping the chin connected to the chest, we'll start with a gentle neck warm up. Slowly going f all the way to the right and back as you inhale. Exhale left and forward. Inhale to the right and back, exhale left and forward, two more, inhale to the right and back, exhale left and forward, one more, go to the right and back, exhale to the left and forward. Let's switch, inhale, go to the left and back. Exhale, right and forward. Keep the shoulders relaxed, inhale to the left and back. Exhale to the right and forward. Let's do two more. Inhale deep. 
super slow movements, exhale, one last time, inhale deep, and exhale, good, slowly come into a neutral spine, let's do a little bit of shoulder warm up, inhale shoulders forward and up, exhale back and down, really exaggerating the movements, inhale forward and up, Exhale, back and down. Two more, inhale deep. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, great. We switch directions, back and up on the inhale. Exhale, forward and down. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, forward and down. Two more, inhale deep. Exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Great. Slowly, when you're ready, reach both your arms up. Interlace the fingers. Make a pistol, palms facing up. Elevate the shoulders up towards the ears. On every inhale, become longer, taller on the exhales. Try to ground more and more through your sitting bones. Slow and long breaths. Four, three. Becoming longer on the in breaths. Two. Grounding on the exhales. And one, slowly release, bring the right hand to the right on the floor, left arm up and over. Maybe if you feel very comfortable, right elbow drops. We keep extending through the left arm. Try not to bend the elbow, find full length. Maybe look to the left fingers. Nice, for three. Every inhale become longer through the arm. Every exhale, try ground through the left sitting bone. And make sure your chest is not facing down, it's trying to face up gently. Good. And one on the next inhale, reach both your arms up. Interlace the fingers once more, palms face up, elevate shoulders, lock the elbows. We breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly, left hand goes down, maybe elbow, right arm up, and over to the left. Opening, spiraling the spine, trying to face the chest towards the sky. Grounding through the right sitting bone, keeping length on the right arm. We breathe for three. Very nice. Two. And one. Slowly inhale, reach both your arms up. Exhale, left hand on the right knee, right hand behind. Take a deep inhale to become long through your spine. On the exhale, twist. You can help yourself with your left hand gently pressing onto the right knee to help you work on the twist a little deeper. Looking gently over towards the right shoulder. On every inhalation, becoming longer. On every exhalation, seeing if we can twist a little bit more. Very nice. Last deep breath in. And exhale. Great, slowly inhale, reach both your arms up. And as you exhale, we're gonna twist directly to the other side. So right hand towards the left knee, left hand back. On every inhalation, trying to become longer. On every exhalation, trying to twist a tiny bit more. Last. 
last deep breath in and exhale very good slowly take a deep inhale reach both your arms up and as you exhale bring the hands behind the ears or grabbing the back of the head I'll show you from this angle taking a deep inhalation opening the chest bring the elbows back shoulders back chest opens facing forward and up on the exhale round the spine elbows trying to touch to each other and then they go down towards the floor inhale again open the chest exaggerate the movements don't worry if your elbows don't reach the floor when you're flexing exhale we try to round maybe here this is great as well inhale open the chest look up exhale trying to go all the way down inhale deep to open good exhale we round inhale deep to open exhale we round last one inhale deep to open we hold as we're opening for those that feel uncomfortable being in a cross leg position you could also extend your legs forward in the same pose last three here opening the chest elbows back shoulders back two one and slowly exhale round we hold rounding as much as we can trying to go deeper into this spinal flexion on every exhalation a little bit more for three two and one great slowly inhale come back to the center reach both your arms up exhale hands in front of you walk with your hands forward as much as you can feel free to relax the neck maybe forehead reaches the floor maybe it doesn't it doesn't really matter but try to allow gravity to do its work and bring you lower and lower on the exhalations without using any strength any effort just allowing gravity to bring you down very nice slowly when you're ready inhale come halfway up we're gonna go forward into our tabletop position you have two ways to get there first way you can release the cross legs and go forward or you can keep the cross legs leaning forward coming onto the knees and hands we're gonna move into our puppy pose from here slowly sending the knees back make sure the hips and the knees are in one vertical line and then we're going to start walking with the hands forward making sure we're still keeping that vertical line more or less between the knees and the hips round the spine tuck the tailbone deep breath in look to the belly and on the exhale going all the way down into puppy pose we'll do it four rounds like this inhale round the spine look to the belly inhale exhale chest melts down two more inhale round look to the belly lifting the chest exhale go down one more time inhale deep round the spine look to the belly tag the tailbone in and exhale go down and we're gonna hold at the bottom regardless how deep you can go we're gonna focus on allowing the chest to go lower on the exhalations making sure the arms are extended active shoulders elevated on every inhale we hold here for five slow and long breaths four three two and one perfect bring the forehead on the floor and then slowly go forward back into your table top position 
We're going to move a little bit more onto the shoulders from here, taking deep breath in and the right arm up. Exhale, right hand either onto the sacrum or onto the left thigh from behind. Opening through the right shoulder, gently looking up. Tacking the tailbone in, trying to make sure spine is long, we're twisting on the exhalations. Last deep breath in. Good. And exhale. On the next breath in, reach the right arm up. Exhale, thread the arm in between the legs and the left arm. Drop the shoulder to the floor, drop the head to the floor. Left hand is parallel to the face, pushing onto the ground to create a gentle twist here. So we're tackling the shoulders and the spine. Very nice. Slowly, when you're ready, push onto the floor, come back into your tabletop position. Hands, knees on the floor. Take a deep breath in, reach the left arm up. Exhale, maybe hand to the sacrum, maybe hand to the right thigh from behind, opening the left shoulder, looking up, we breathe. Four, three. Two. And one, slowly inhale, left arm up. And exhale, thread the arm, same thing here. Pushing with the right arm gently. Four, three. Two. And one. Slowly push onto the floor. Come back to the center. And gently lean back into your wide knee child's pose, allowing the forehead to drop. Slow and long breath. Trying to send the hips all the way back towards the heels. Knees are separated, so there's space for the chest to go down a little bit more. Very nice. On the next inhale, come back into your tabletop. Go all the way forward, placing the hips and the chest on the floor. We're going to start moving into our Sphinx pose. Feet may be together or slightly apart. Feet are pointed. We place the forearms on the floor, making sure the elbows and the shoulders are aligned vertically. Shoulders go back and then down, so we're able to lift ourselves up. Glutes engaged, chest open. Option to keep both forearms grounded. Option to extend your arms if you feel comfortable. So from the same position, we press with the hands onto the floor. We externally rotate the arms, opening the chest. Glutes are still engaged. Chest open, shoulders back. And we breathe from wherever you are for five, four, three, slow and long breaths, two, and one, slowly come back down, bring the left hand slightly in, bend the right knee. With the right hand, grab the foot, gently pull the heel towards you. If you can turn your palms with the fingers facing forward, you will start pushing rather than pulling. We keep the chest open. We keep pushing through the left arm down for three, 
two and one slowly release switch hands same thing bend the left knee grab with the left hand the foot gently turn and push opening through the chest pressing through the right arm for three two and one slowly release bring both your hands onto the floor chest onto the floor push yourself back into your wide knee child's pose slow and long breaths beautiful on the next inhalation we come back onto our tabletop take a deep breath in extend the right leg back exhale slowly place the foot outside of your right hand left knee can stay here or if you feel comfortable you feel you want to open a bit more you can send the back knee back a little bit more option to stay on the arms option to drop or bend the elbows of course you can also place a block if you're not able to reach with the elbows onto the floor and for those that feel very comfortable also there's the option to ground fully trying to bring the chest or the head down towards the floor slow and long breaths very nice with the help of the hands come back to your lizard take deep inhalation with the right hand grab the inner thigh and gently press outwards try to work on a twist opening through the right shoulder gently facing up if you feel very comfortable here then you may be able to bend the back leg reaching the foot with the right hand and just as we did before we gently pull the heel towards the glute okay, slowly release bring both your hands to the floor take a deep inhale exhale extend the leg go back inhale deep exhale go forward bend the knee inhale deep exhale go back inhale deep exhale go forward two more inhale deep exhale go back inhale deep exhale go forward last one inhale deep exhale go back and we hold flexing the right foot and then we try to walk with the hands forward a little bit more maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit more we breathe slow and long breaths here nice slowly when you're ready come back to the center bend the right knee send the hands forward a little bit more and slowly we're gonna walk with the right foot over to the left or to the hip to move into our pigeon pose our reclined pigeon pose trying to make sure the back knee is facing directly down to the floor that way we ensure that we're opening properly through the right hip we're not compensating very nice two more breaths
and one great slowly when you're ready press with both arms onto the floor to extend the arms we're gonna work on a little twist left arm will slide underneath the right arm extending the right arm forward we're looking gently to the left if we feel we're leaning too much to the right then you can bring the hand close to your left arm and push to actually bring you back to center. The idea is that we're finding a gentle twist and also while finding a bit more depth on the hip opening we breathe for three very nice two and one perfect slowly push back to the ground step back into your tabletop position hands knees onto the floor moving the hips in one direction maybe the other and when you're ready extend through your left leg deep breath in exhale foot outside of the left hand you choose how deep you want to go maybe arms extended, maybe elbows bent maybe forearms to the floor maybe trying to bring the forehead or the chest down to the floor and we breathe Nice, slowly when you're ready, come back to the center. Left hand onto the left thigh. Gently twist, gently open. If you want to go deeper, maybe bend through the back leg, reaching with the hand, the foot, and gently pulling the heel towards the glute as we twist. Or three. Two. And one. Slowly release. Bring both hands onto the floor. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, lean back. Extend the leg. Inhale, deep exhale, go forward. Inhale, deep exhale, go back. Inhale, deep exhale, go forward. Inhale, deep exhale, go back. Let's do two more. Inhale, deep exhale, forward. Inhale, deep exhale, go back. Last one. Inhale, deep exhale, go forward. Inhale, deep exhale, go back. When we reach back, we lock. We make sure the foot is flexed. We engage through the left quad and we start walking with the hands forward. We start going forward and down. And we breathe. Very nice. Last deep inhale. and exhale good slowly when you're ready walk with the hands back bend through the left knee and slowly send the foot over to the hip or to the right side we're gonna come into our pigeon pose working on that internal rotation of the back leg
nice slowly when you're ready we push through the arms right arm slides we thread the arm and we try to gently press with the left arm to help us create a bit more depth on the twist a bit more stability on the hips we breathe Very good. Last deep inhale. And exhale. Perfect. Slowly when you're ready, come back to the center. Push onto the floor. Come back into your tabletop position, moving the hips a little bit in one direction to the other. And when you're ready, separate the knees moving into our wide knee child's pose natural and automatic breaths And when you're ready, walk the hands back, come back into your seated position. Thank you so much for sharing your practice today with me. If you want to watch the full class, you can find it in my platform, moveconscious.com, where you will find this practice which, which is actually a one hour session and you will find more than 120 classes as well plus I upload every week new sessions over there thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one Namaste